Why, hello everyone! Welcome, welcome to another week of Pokémon on Playframe. Uh, before we get going, because we're gonna go, like, I, I guess gang up with the yells and start a rumble at the tower or something, I, I've forgotten. Whatever. Uh, just to catch y'all up, we got a new little lineup of Pokémon here, including some folks who fainted a little early <laughs> last week. What Padfoot deserves an evolution, as does Nomers and Sprout and Stormrage, and these two are here uh, just because they haven't had much screen time yet. Um, they might get swapped back out for kind of our main lineup pretty quickly if um, if we get into like a big uh, like Leon challenge or something. I, I don't know what we're in for, but we are kind of in end game territory. So who knows when we could be uh, thrown into a major important story fight, in which case we'll uh, we'll get our main line back going. But uh, anyway, um, also before we go, a few more introductions are in order. For one, we have Evolved Oriole. I finally managed to uh, get Oriole to evolve um, while I was <laughs> holding the switch upside down undocked so that Oriole would evolve into this. Uh, upsetting, but um, <laughs> but more powerful. So that's good. Uh, let's see. We also have some new faces that I caught out and about. We've got Edifice, <laughs> who is a... What are you? Stonejourner. Yes. And just quite entertaining as a look. I love it. Uh, also, we have Jonas, who is a meow stick, yes, psychic type. So that's fun. And I do love the look and those, or those eyes. <laughs> We've also got Latty, who's just a little bug. Yes, a shelmet. And another bug, Carrie B, a little bug knight. It felt fitting. <laughs> the only way to evolve these two, as I understand it, is to trade one for the other. <laughs> Uh, with somebody else, so I, I may have to set that up with a friend later or something. Now, we have one more uh, friend that needs introducing here, though this requires a little bit of explanation. So, there is a play friend named Sarah, whom I've been lucky enough to meet in person at a couple of cons and such. She's a lovely individual. Uh, but she takes part in the PAX Pokemon League that they do as one of the trainers, a dark fairy type, if I'm not mistaken. And she had a whole bunch of... Uh, Alchemies that she would give out to folks who uh, defeated her, I guess. And uh, she had a bunch of them left over and asked if we wanted one. And, and the exciting part was that these are Alchemies that could Gigantamax, that could become the big cake <laughs> if you Dynamax them. So I said, sure. Uh, so let me introduce you to Care Bear. Now, there's a few things to take note of here. Different coloring, which is great fun. Uh, also the little pink hearts as the little hair decoration, which felt very on brand for the channel. Uh, but more experienced Poke folk probably have already noted that Care Bear is a shiny, actually. And for those who don't know what shinies are, they're just like an ultra rare color variant, basically, that you can get of uh, any given Pokemon in the game. They're, they're pretty, it's very unusual to run into one. Many people have never encountered a shiny ever, or have only encountered a shiny once or twice in all the Pokemon games they've played, unless they really work hard to go out and find them. Uh, so this is quite a generous thing. Thank you very much to Sarah for our fun little alchemy color variant. I like it very much. Now, let's see. We need to get out and hit the road. I have also, uh, as I said, I was going to on Friday, I have uh, sent the Pokemon off to do some more jobs and some more work. So everyone's kind of in the high 50s to 60s, more or less, most everybody. I really tried hard to <laughs> evolve Robinton. I had Robinton in my group as I was running around catching more friends, feeding Robinton favorite curry. Uh, Still no luck, though. Like, I know our friendship level is quite high, but still no luck. I, like, I, the only way the Snom evolves is high friendship leveling up at night. And I thought that that had happened. It also, like, I'd had a similar thing happen with Luffy, because uh, Luffy evolves by holding a Razor Claw and leveling up at night. And I did that. I definitely met all those qualifications, like, at 12.30 a.m. last night, in the middle of the night, and uh, it didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work, but uh, whatever. We'll try again another time. Anyway, there's so many friends yet evolved and so much left that we have to do, I assume. So uh, let's hit the road. Sorry, Piers, I kept you waiting. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Danny. We decided the team yell will cheer you on, Danny. Let's help out together. More Pekko likes the plan. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Miss Oliana? Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There's no way I will let anyone interfere. 
Well, that's pretty and colorful. I like that. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kinds of menial games, after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one I chose? Do you think you can find me? This is... okay. What should we do? This isn't good, but I got this one. Danny, Team Yell's yelling will handle this. <laughs> oh, Team Yell. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Uh, yes, let's do that. All right, let's all work together and head for Rose Tower. This is an odd game. <laughs> Have we won already? <laughs> Let's find Oleana's League staff member. That bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? They kind of all wear w lame shades, if I'm honest, but, um... Maybe the bad one was wearing just, like, dark-tinted ones. Any luck? Talking to me ain't gonna help you find the bad guy now, is it? I'll cheer you on, so go out there and track him down. I'll try. So I think... If I remember right, the one we're looking for had just... Dark sunglasses, not the yellow tinted. Might be wrong. But, uh, let's look around. Hmm. No. Hey, Danny, this bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so I'll have no choice but to look this way. Uh, I'll try to. Uh, uh alright. Miss Oleana's here. We already have the key, you know. This seems more surprising. Miss Oleana's here. What? Blast, I turned around. And I can't escape? In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. Boy, I hope our squad's equipped for this. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Macrocosmos's Eric. All right. A Meowth, is it? Steel type, hmm? I believe we have a fighting type on us. Rackham? Okay, he's only got two Pokemon. I'm not as worried now, but, uh, rack him. Smash. Let me pull up my type chart. We got a, we got a week full of fighting here. Hey, now. Super effective, huh? All right. My cheers will really get you going. Oh, well, thanks. Whoa. Fast Rackham. Oh, goodness. Which should we choose? Let's see, we got Super Power, which also lowers just my attack and defense stats, but who cares? Hammer Arm, which lowers my speed, or Low Kick, uh, the heavier the target, the greater the move's power. I mean, it is Steel-type, but, um, yeah, I think this is gonna do just fine. Boom. Goodbye. Hee <laughs> hee. Good work, Rackham. What else you got? Hey, y'all start leveling, okay? Y'all need to evolve. Like, a bunch of you. A Durant. That... That's a Steel Ant, yeah? In that case, Rackham, you can... <laughs> I think you can stay out there. I'm pretty sure this is the Steel... But yeah, there you are. Hit it with the cement or the concrete or whatever. Shkabooms! Ah, oh, my stats are falling too fast. <laughs> Iron head, eh? That's... Oof! Attack and defense are falling, though. Uh, hmm. Do we have anything else that would be super effective against this? Uh, Vulpum's got some fire. Yeah. All right, Vulpum. You got fainted out way too early last week. You deserve some time in the ring with all your tails. Yeah, that's not going to do very well, I don't think. Uh, have a flamethrower.
And you're done. Yes! Give me the key, I got places to be. I didn't mean to rhyme, but here we are. Don't suddenly talk to me like that, I accidentally turned around. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I need to do is hide and I won't have to give you the key. Well, hang on. It's a wonder how fast that guy could run. I got no idea where he went, Gov. But I... Do I... Annoying. Let's see here. You know what? Actually, while I'm topping the team off, let me see. I think I got somebody here who can snack on a rock and evolve and such. Yes, indeed. Hang on. Just gotta get everybody in tip-top shape. Come on. There we go. Now, let's see. Sprout, you need a leaf stone. And I have no idea what you're going to turn into, but I'm excited to find out. What you gonna be? Whoa, you're intense. <laughs> Shiftry. Oh, congrats, Sprout. A wicked Pokemon, Grass Dark type. A Pokemon that was feared as a forest guardian. It can read the foe's mind and take preemptive action. Neat. Well, congrats to you for fully evolving and whatnot. Leaf Tornado sounds great. Let's get you that move. Let's see, what are you best at? Physical attack. Okay, well... Honestly? Leaf Blade's probably just better in every way, isn't it? I mean, it also lowers accuracy, but... Yeah, I kind of feel like sticking with Leaf Blade and Mega Drain. Yeah, no, no, never mind. No Leaf Tornadoes for you. Oh, hooray! Okay. Now we got three fully evolved and three still to evolve. That's, this feels like a nice mix. I feel more or less safe. And we are still overleveled. Now where'd this jerk go? Ah! I think I found the jerk. Hey, jerk. How'd you find me, or did you just talk to everyone you met? Well, oh, whatever, I'll defeat you this time. Your sunglasses don't match! I figured you out! Really into the steel types, huh? At least I think that one's steel type. Pretty sure that one's steel type. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, Vulpum, go ahead. Keep setting things on fire, if you don't mind. And I'm guessing we're gonna have to, uh, chase this guy down one more time. That's fine. Feel that flow, yeah. You feeling it, Danny? Absolutely. Let's go! And have some fire. Very good. Good work, Vulpum. Burn through this nonsense. We need that key. So close to levels. Uh, Exadrill. Mmm. Might be ground, but they've all been steel so far. I'm guessing... I'm guessing this guy's just steel all the way. Have we run into an Exadrill yet? We have, okay. Yeah, I bet this is ground steel. Let's see how the fire does. Pretty good. Ah, Vulpum cleaning house. And... Levels! None of the ones that need to evolve, but still. <laughs> levels, though. Congrats, everyone. Focus punch, eh? Well, let me see. Hmm. Pretty 
good. This move fails if the user's hit before it's used. And you're not super fast. Hmm. I guess if I hit something with hammer arm, that would lower its speed, then I could hit it with focus punch. You know, that's fun enough as a gimmick. I'll lose low kick for now. Real heavy hitter, this Rackham. Man, I'm trying to get all of the Pokemon, all of our friends, <laughs> some screen time here, but... And I even switched on my Pokemon while I was running! <laughs> He's so mad. I'm trying to get all of our little Poke friends in, but there's... Uh, like 120, 130, 40, 50 of them now, and only six slots. <laughs> they say hide a tree to four, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. And now he's running this way. All right. Well, there's not a whole lot of this way you can run. But... <laughs> All the points for creativity. Uh, let's see. <laughs> that... Okay, well... <laughs> I thought you were going to comment on the guy just standing in the... Th but I guess that's what these booths are for. So maybe this does not seem irregular. Um, does anyone need topping off? I don't think anyone does. Now nah, we're good. Okay. Hello. You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. We'll see. I mean, you're somewhat predictable with your Pokemon selections. That's a weird one. Grass steel, then? <laughs> I love that it's just not moving. It's just like planted and it's it's just here now. Uh, all right, Volpham. This calls for you. I'm guessing you're going to be extremely effective against this one. Especially if it can't move. Iron Head, eh? Donk. Yeah. Yeah, have some of my support. I know you can keep the beat going. You are the best, Marnie. All right. Have some fire. Yeah. <laughs> I expected so. Sorry, Spike Egg. And come on, y'all. Steelix. Ah, yes. You know what? I will swap just to give someone else some experience for a second. Uh, let's see. Uh, b -b 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 it's Steel Ground. So I don't think we're going to be keeping any of these uh, folks in, but I want them to level up so they evolve. Volpum, don't get comfortable. You're coming back out in a second, okay? Padfoot, we need you to have your mustache. So big. Okay. Volpum. And you're back. Rock slide. Should be fine. Nope. <laughs> uh, in my defense, there's a lot of type matchups to memorize. <laughs> there we go. Good job, Volpum. Way to not faint. Can I have the key, please? Hey, there you go. Got your level. Hiding didn't work. Battles didn't work. Only thing to do now is run. <laughs> Come on. You're cheating at this game. But yes, at last. Padfoot, you were like the second or third Pokemon we caught. And at long last. <laughs> ah, you're a thievel. Congratulations. Let's see now. It secretly marks potential targets with a scent. By following the scent, it stalks its targets and steals from them when they least expect it. For shame. You want to learn the move Thief, huh? Very well. What is it? Uh, hmm. Does damage and steals. 
seems pretty good. Although maybe not as good as all these other ones I have. Especially since it's a physical attack move and special attack is kind of your strength. Yeah, I think... I think no for this one, even though it is on brand for you. Uh, yeah. Congratulations, Padfoot. Seems like it got me cornered, but I'm not going to give up. An earful from Ms. Eliana is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner that League staff member at the station together. Thanks for the help, Piers. You're exactly the punks we need. Um. This seems unsporting. You did a cracking job a corner in that bad league staff member, but Danny, let me sing you a song fitting of your rockin' deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Maybe I can't cheer someone on just with the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. But still, the only thing I can do is sing. Sing my humble song. Piers! Go, Piers! Hey, isn't that Piers? Why is he doing a street performance? I think he made a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. <laughs> Are you inspiring the Zigzagoons? And a crowd. <laughs> That'll work. We got the key, Piers. We can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. Thanks for the distraction, bud. Danny, hop. Now's your chance. Go. Get out of here. We're off. To the sun place. Whoa. So tall. I like it here. So this is a rose tower. So how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So, what should we do? Team Yell's gonna have their hands full holding up those bad League staff members. Well, they won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Danny, what should we do? Uh, let's go ahead. Who needs them? Good thinking. Let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the Champion Cup. Danny, you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you gotta do is charge on ahead. An employee is an employee, I guess. Seems that exec lady hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion holed up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. What accent are you meant to have, Marnie? Because it sounds very southern. Like southern North America. Not... Like, maybe it's meant to be, like, an Irish or Scottish sort of thing? Someone help me out on this. What accent is she actually meant to be having? <laughs> Times like this, when tension and passion run high. Remind me of Spike Myth in the old days. Some right wild concerts we had back then. But no encores. Wait, you're still here? <laughs> you better get going. I'll send some support your way with a yell. Gotta stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Why, thank you. Let's go, Danny. We have a tower to ascend. And probably a lot of fights within, I'd guess. Hmm, let's see. Should we swap anyone new in? I think maybe yes. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Vulpum's been doing some good work. Let's give... There's another fire type. Oven, you've not had much time. Get in there. Uh, let's see. These two have evolved, but haven't had much action yet. Is there another fighting type? Drexel, of course. Yeah, there we go. All right. And let's see. Nomers, go out front. We're ready. Into the tower! Let's go, Danny! There's nothing outside, is there? 
Hang on. There is. I see that back there. You can't hide that from me. Come here. Give a cell battery. Uh, boosts attack if the holder is hit with electric type attack. It can only be used once. That's kind of neat, I guess. And come on. Zoom. Vroom. Electric seed. Uh, boost defense on electric terrain can only be used once. Are we running into a electric heavy area here? That could be. Whatever. We're ready. I have so many Pokemon ready to fight. Like the deepest bench you can imagine. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Well, that's a pretty floor. Listen, Danny. Don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. This should be fun. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. That's a big lift. Intruder alert? Intruder alert. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Miss Oleana says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. What happens to your paycheck if you lose, though, Elijah? Because I have bad news. Are y'all- y'all are really into steel here, huh? Hey, numbers. How does ground do against steel, anyway? I'm guessing not great. Uh... No, oh, never mind. Ground does great against steel. Numbers? Uh... Please try to not faint, because I'd really love... I guess it's bug type, so maybe this will balance out a little bit, but I'd love it if you could actually get the full experience for this. So let's try to not faint, okay? Whew! Numbers. Really seems like you're made of paper. <laughs> let's get you evolved or something quick. Good work, Numbers! There you go. Well, that's it, I guess. Having to give up my pocket money. Losing means I'm back in the red. <laughs> oh, boy. Storm Rage! What are you to become? And... Ah, of course. Electric Spider. Galvantula. Oh, congratulations. What's your deal? Bug electric? Sure. It launches electrified fur from its abdomen as its means of attack. Opponents hit by the fur could be in for three full days and nights of paralysis. That's fun. What you learn in here? Sticky web. Let me see. What moves do you have, anyway? Uh, big buzz? Or no, bug buzz, which is great. Discharge, which is great. Thunder wave, which is pretty good. Slash. Uh... Hmm... That could be, like, in certain scenarios, really helpful. You know, yeah, maybe let's get rid of Slash. Why not? Why not? Congratulations, Storm Rage. All evolved and whatnot. But my bonus, my dream of finally affording a house of my own. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. <laughs> All right, we're nearly to Chairman Rose. Hold on, Lee. We're coming. Come on, Danny. Let's crack on. Sorry about the house thing, bud. I <laughs> you still seem pretty excited, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he had like a really big expression a second ago. Ah, whatever. Get on the lift. Yeah, yeah. Although, if you wanted to afford that house, maybe you should have come at me with more than one Pokemon. Uh, let's see. We need to get Nomers healed up. Doo, 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 doo. And, yeah, Nomers is the only one in the set we've not evolved yet. Maybe we should, uh... Let's see. How are we on type coverage, just kind of in general right now? Uh, let's see. 
got ground, dark, grass, dark, bug, electric, fire, fighting. It's not terrible. Oh, we'll stick with this for the time being. And we will ride the lift. Which is huge. Is this basically an additional gym? More or less? This is taking ages. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Oh boy. Doubles fights. You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Galar League's gym challenge. Yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the gloriously high-tech elevators of Rose Tower able to withstand Pokémon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macro Cosmos Construction. Alright. So I guess the fact that you're a construction company does explain at the very least why it's all steel all the time. Q-Fant and... Bronzong, that's what it's called. Both steel. Uh... Given it's a doubles fight, Nomers, we should get you uh, to safety. Retreat, retreat, oven, go. And Drexel, you got next. Oven. Yeah, that's not really gonna do it, bud. Although, good job on the paralysis thing. That's nice. Hmm. Hopefully that's just regular defense, yeah? Yep. Good. Because I think... Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> High risk. Uh... Hmm. Does this hit everybody? No. Uh... Does this? No. And it raises defense a lot. So this is going to do... Be less effective. You know what? Let's... Let's do a... Let's do a Fire Lash first on the Q-Fan to get it out of here. And then... Maybe we'll go for the uh, low accuracy moves on the Bronzong once there's only one left to deal with. Fire Lash! Good hit, Oven! Yes, good! Very good. All right, now hit it with that Inferno. I'm excited to see what that looks like. You really don't want to swap in for a more effective Pokemon hop? Seems like you could do that. Hit it. Yep. <laughs> that looks great. And works great. Good job, Oven. Very good. Come on, Nomers. Ah, Nomers. Nomers, you can do it. We've created an extraordinary lift that's safe even for a Pokémon battle. Nobody can beat Macro Cosmos construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. They definitely can be beat when it comes to their diversity of Pokémon, though. <laughs> if I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends, but that presents some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Macrocosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. I get... Okay. This is not a very efficient way of getting people up and down a building. Having numerous entrances to a single elevator everyone has to wait up. Anyway. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already. Our team's been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them all up. Thanks, buddy. Bring on the fights. Drexel's ready to kick. Hello. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above the ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? Is that a sales pitch? Do I need one? And more importantly, is it still steel only? Yep. <laughs> Clang in a while. That's fine. I enjoy a little predictability from time to time. Intimidate, eh? 
You are little and intimidating. But I don't think Drexel will care. Get in there, Drexel! Yes! I need to see them kicks! Shift gear, huh? Whoa. What is it doing? Neat. Okay. Uh, alright. Fake tears. Come now. Boy, your little head mouth is something. Okay. Uh, let's see. Which of these... Let's see. This will also lower my defensive stats, but maybe that's okay. Uh, let's just close combat. Clang. Get it out of here. And then we can deal with Mawile afterwards. Because this is going to be super effective, I think. Yup. Heck of a kick. Well done, Drexel. Ah, oh, it's so nice seeing these... New faces in the lineup! Hey, Nomers! At last! You've been so patient. Paralyze him, maybe? Aw. Iron Head, huh? E okay, you're fine, though. And, uh, hopefully we can drop this thing. Get a Drexel. Ba -ba -ba boom yes! Beautiful! Heck yeah! Get out of here! Nobody can beat MC and Turrets when it comes to our dedication to our work! <laughs> this building's well over 500 feet tall. That's as tall as around 100 Machoke standing on top of each other. That seems entirely irrelevant. Nice to meet you. Get off of my elevator. No mers! No mers, no mers, no mers. Yeah! There's more of you. <laughs> oh, hooray. A uh, mole Pokemon. A team of Diglett triplets. It triggers huge earthquakes by burrowing 60 miles underground. Which is pretty hard to do in an elevator, I'd bet. Sand tomb, eh? What you got? Hmm. Okay, that could be... Four to five turns. So, like... That could do 120 to 150 damage pretty well if it goes real well. Which is pretty good damage. Uh... I feel like Earthquake is better for just raw consistency. Yeah, I feel like it is. Then again, I don't know if you need to have, like, Astonish... I don't know that that's going to do a whole lot of good in most scenarios, so let's just get rid of it. Hooray. And with that, everyone in our little squad here has evolved. Awesome. I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. <laughs> Shoo. Thanks for the heal. I don't suppose I can swap out. No, I can't. That's fine. That's all right. We'll just hang in there. Let me guess, steel types. You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies doing my job for the lofty macrocosmos air. Bring on the steel. I will kick it and or burn it. Steelix and Stunfisk. Hey, we haven't seen Stunfisks in a while. All right, Nomers, you actually should be able to do pretty good here, although you might also hit uh, Dub Wool with Earthquake, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> Sorry, Hop. Here, just uh, tell Dub Wool to jump real fast. Double jump. Well, bad luck. Worked really well, though. At last, Nomers, your day has come. Hey, Nomers, good job avoiding that. 
Amazing. Honestly, Hop, if this incentivizes you to uh, bring a new Pokemon in, that'd be just fine. Get them, Nomers. All of them. Nomers, yes. Clearing the field. <laughs> For better and worse. Cannot be stopped. Oh, uh, hooray. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos Air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You ever get that floaty feeling when a lift is going up? <laughs> uh, Y'all are such weird conversationalists. Don't you presume to meet the chairman? You're not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher up you go, the more important the people you find working there. <laughs> chairman Rose is at the top of the top. Not just of this tower, but of all of all, Gal of all Galar. Weirdos. Thanks for the heal, bud. I mean, your dub will need it more, but thank you. Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp, let's do this! I'm ready! Ooh, lovely. Can I change Pokémon? I'd love to... Yes, good, okay, alright. Let's actually call it an episode, and uh, when we come back tomorrow, I'll uh, have my main squad in, because this seems like big important stuff. Y'all, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow for more Pokemon Sword. Good... Bye.